Okay, I'm going to do a book review video, <clears throat> and I know uh, I don't get a lot of hits on these. I guess nowadays people don't like books. They just uh, send me comments or emails, you know, asking for information instantly. But, you know, where I get a lot of my detailed information in that is from, from books. And if you're really serious about Carcano or collecting Carcano rifles, then uh, this here book is a must-have. Uh, the title is the Model 1891 Carcano Rifle and in, uh, a Detailed Development and Production History is a complete title there. I just got this book yesterday. You can get it on Amazon or eBay. It's all over. And with shipping hand, it's about $48.50. <clears throat> it's a hardcover book. It has tons of photographs in here. Tons. Uh, covers grenade launchers, some of the accessories of uh, the Carcano. Um, you know, it tells you, it gives you a brief history of Carcano himself and several of the earlier guns he worked on. And uh, nothing, it clarifies a lot of things. And there is detailed information. And one thing that I did find is under the symbols inside here, um, it goes on to that weird 8mm gun that I had. And one thing that clarified it on the bayonet is uh, this symbol, this little lion which some people say is a check line and all this other stuff and, and that and uh, <clears throat> this book explains quite clearly okay what this rifle is or this little eight millimeter carbon this thing was made by the Italians after the war the little line symbols up here on the bayonet it is a subcontractors marking a symbol for a company much like the famous little squirrel holding an acorn for the German company that makes blades and swords and stuff. Okay, that's what it is. This book kind of clarifies that. <clears throat> this gun I've seen, and the reason you kind of get this stuff is the guy clarifies what it is. All right, I've seen these on uh, Gun Broker as rare Egyptian with the little line symbols, Czechoslovakian used uh, rifles that, you know, they make up something that is historically incorrect. It is not what this gun is, and it carries a price tag of five to $700. I paid a guy 150 bucks for this, because when he was in a dealer and they came in, I think he told me that he got a case of them, they're six, it cost him $65 a piece, all right? <clears throat> so, that's kind of why I, I do get into books, book reviews, and getting information. Another thing in here, I always ran across these little stars and a stamp on the guns. They'll either be in the receiver or they'll be somewhere on the rifle. And I always thought that it meant, because uh, there is a marking with a star that when guns were used in the Spanish Civil War, they put that stamp on there. It's not. Uh, on an Italian gun, that little star stamp is a symbol for uh, the Republic of Italy, is what I guess it was called after World War II. And they were stamped down there when the guns were refurbished post-war. So that's kind of an indication. Again, like I keep telling people, you know, your value in that, you have to understand what you have. And like I said, just because you buy this Carcano rifle and somebody says it's worth $700, it's not, really. Uh, I mean, if I could, if I or you could con someone into giving you $700 for this $150 gun, you know, that's kind of a, a choice of your uh, integrity and morality, all right? <clears throat> um, or scruples, which a lot of people don't have. Um, but it clarifies a lot of things and takes the mystery out of it. Also, it kind of helps uh, when you're making a decision, should I invest in this gun? 
Well, if the gun has post-war rework stampings on it, it kind of doesn't detract from the value if the gun's still in the original military condition and the marking, say, from 1938 or 1940. Um, but it does make a difference in the value to a true collector. Some people don't care. Uh, like I said, the Carcano is another strange gun. You know, people don't value them as much. And they're really not as rare. That's another thing, this book. He gives you production numbers. And uh, these guns really are not that rare. There are some that are rare, but people don't, or they're made in less numbers. Okay, when you go through the book, you could see the numbers. But yet, it doesn't reflect an asking price people want. The guns were made in less quantities, but because they're not popular or were not considered the gun the same model used to assassinate JFK, they don't carry the value, which is strange. But, good book. I highly recommend it. Very helpful. Okay. And, uh, like I said, if you're really going to be Seriously into collecting your gun or identifying your gun. I know if you have one rifle, the book probably isn't worth it. But if you want to be well informed, knowledgeable, it's a good book to get your hands on.